Hey everyone, it's Johnny, your Independent Sensi Consultant. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to talk about the 2020 holiday collection from Sensi that is launching very soon on October 1st. That is right, October 1st. You heard it. Yes, folks. Uh, so we are going to go through it. We're going to mainly focus on in-person products of, of the three scents that are going to be coming out in both wax and um, Scentsy Go Pods fragrances. Um, but we will go through the catalog together. Um, I have it on my iPad. And we will kind of take a look at what's coming in terms of warmers and other fun things. So let's dive in and as always if you need any scentsy or have any questions about scentsy products or just home fragrance in general feel free to reach out with to me um my information is in the description box below so we have the 2020 holiday collection we'll see if you can actually see that i don't want to get too too in your face where you're like ah what's going on and i think the big highlight beyond all the warmers and other things that we're going to peruse through together are the three fragrances that are coming out, uh, in, particularly in the wax, because everyone's all about the wax usually. So we're gonna talk about those first before we dive into all the other fun things in this catalog. So we have three. It will be sold as a three pack for 17 US dollars. Um, and we have three scents. We have Very Blessed, we have Happy Holly Days, and we have Feeling Pine. And I remember one of these I kept smelling like pepper in and I was like really intrigued about. Uh, I have to tell you that none of these have pepper in them according to the description. So I must have been crazy when I smelled these. Berry Blessed is described as soft vanilla and cranberries sprinkled with sparkling sugar is pure bliss. And I still feel like I get a peach note in this. <laughs> I think I'm crazy, but soft vanilla... I do get the cranberry. I do gotta get like a creamy note to it. Sparkling sugar. See, I feel like I do get sparkling sugar. It's like a interesting. There's almost like a list zemin zest zemini lemony zesty sort of sign of kind of hint to this. But it could just be the cranberry and sparkling sugar. But there's like, there's like that weird sort of lemony, citrusy zest note to this on top of like the cranberry note. It's definitely a very berry, no pun intended, very berry scent. I think it's the tartness of the cranberry that's mixing in there that's kind of giving it that sort of zesty note that I'm picking up on. It's really good though. If you like berry scents, I think you will be um, particularly pleased with this one. It's a little bit different than a lot of the ones that we have in our catalog. And um, I feel like the closest you could maybe get to what a vague thing of this would be is if like, if maybe like one of our cranberry scents, um, like Very Merry Cranberry and like Cloudberry Dreams had a baby. I feel like this would be kind of somewhere in between that but with like a more tart, zesty vibe. It's, I don't know, it's, it's really interesting. I'll be curious to see how it performs. Um, Feeling Pine is the next one. This is described as, let eucalyptus pine and a kiss of mistletoe fill you with holiday spirit. And you definitely get the eucalyptus. You definitely get a pine note, without a doubt. I'm not exactly sure what mistletoe is supposed to smell like or smells like, so I couldn't be certain that it's in here or not, but it's definitely a green tree sort of scent. I think the eucalyptus almost kind of like mellows it out a little bit because the pine isn't as biting and usually when there's a pine note in something, I'm all like, oh, pine. I think the eucalyptus really kind of mutes the pine a little bit so it's not so stinging in your nose. It's actually quite an interesting scent. Is it like on cold sniff, like, am I head over heels about it? No, but it's really nice. And I, I'm very particular on like green tree sort of scents to begin with. So like a lot of the fragrances in our catalog, truth be told, are not like, don't scream out to me, woo, green tree, must have. Um, I think my favorite 
of our green tree scents right now, I think is very snowy spruce because it's like a mix of, I want to say cedar and balsam and something else. Cedar, balsam, and spruce. <laughs> what all sort of be. Um, so it's a little bit less like pine needle, pine tree, pine whatever smell, which can kind of be a little bit stinging in the nose. Um, but this blend of eucalyptus and pine is very interesting, and I'm curious to see how it warms. Like, does it become more herbaceous medicinal? Does it become more pine? Do they blend and harmoniously calm each other down, which would be awesome? We will see. That's feeling pine. And the third one in this group is called Happy Holidays, and its festive golden pear mingles with clove and holiday pine to bring joy to the season. I think this is the one that I thought it was like black pepper or something notes in it. There's definitely not black pepper in it. But now that I know that it's golden pear, clove, and pine, it now makes more sense to me. And I like it all the more because I like golden pear, which gives like a juiciness to the scent, like more body to it. Maybe the clove is what I thought was initially, like the clove mixed with holiday pine was giving me like a peppery note. But you can smell the clove in there. You can smell like the juiciness of the pear. It gives like it a fresh sort of vibe. Um, and the pine isn't nose biting, which is again, very surprising, especially because it's called holiday pine. This is really good. And I, I, on cold at least, I think this is my favorite of the three. The other two, I don't know which one would be my favorite of the next two. These ones, to me, are both like, eh, they're all right. But this one, if this smells just as good warming, this will go instantly into my club. Um, because, yeah, there is something about this that just is is doing things for me. It's good. There's, like, the freshness to it. There, I feel like it's the golden pear and the clove that are like mixing and melding with what is normally a very obnoxious pine scent. And just making something very, very nice and almost like hint, it almost kind of gives me like almost a cologne vibe, like a woodsy cologne. Like I would wear this, if this was like an after, like an aftershave or cologne, oh man, I would like, yes please, yes please, let me just like rub this all over me. Ooh, maybe that's what it is. Anyways, that's that's my favorite of the three, on cold at least. So those are in, again available. Um, these I believe are gonna start being available. All of this is gonna be available October 1st. So like a week and a half ish. All right, let's go through our catalog though because there's much more than wax. These also come in um, Scentsy Go Pods, but we have all sorts of warmers and diffuser shades and things. So we're kind of gonna go through them together. So unless my iPad dies, which is very possible. So we're gonna go through as quick as possible. We have a Christmas camper that is coming back on this page. I'm gonna describe it and then show it to you. Uh, it is a six and a half inch tall, 25 watt warmer for $50. Festive yet down to earth, this hand painted red and galvanized steel warmer features classic holiday decorations and a playful rooftop wax dish, making it a cheerful addition to all the merriment. We have the new Starry Christmas tin, um, Tin warmer, it's a 15 watt warmer, but because it's made of metal, don't worry, it will warm like a boss. Um, this is 11 inches tall. It is a Christmas tree shape. I'll show you this in a minute. Ring in the season with understated vintage charm. Turn it on for warm light that positively pours from each bough. This tree looks picture perfect in a modern farmhouse or cozy cottage. And then we have the Melt My Heart Warmer, which is a six inch tall element warmer. Nothing warms you from the inside out like a mug of something hot and a frosty friend to share it with. This perfectly plaid warmer beckons like your new, your favorite holiday brew. It's like a mug shaped plaid warmer with a marshmallow snowman. So those three, hopefully you can see kind of, that's what these ones are going to look like. They are all going to be released very shortly. Uh, I might get that Christmas tree tin one on the side here for me. It sounds pretty awesome. The next thing that we see, oh, let me turn this brighter. Apparently, maybe it was too dim for you. Just in case. Part two. <laughs> okay. 
Next, we have four little mini night light warmers. We have Crystal Christmas, Looking for Winter Ready Style. This is a glass warmer. The choice is crystal clear. Celebrate the magic of that first snowfall with a stunning night sky display. Turn it on and the light shines through each uniquely designed snowflake. We have To All a Good Night, which is one that I might pick up. Um, dash away your holiday cares with a flyby sleigh and eight tiny reindeer all aglow. Be still and listen closely. You can almost hear Saint Nick exclaim, Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. We have frosted flannel, a glass one. These are all, these three are glass. Flannel gets seriously festive with a rich, colorful glow and an oh so sparkly snowflake accent. And then finally, a ceramic warmer, the gingerbread man, laid back and full of love. This little guy is ready to spread some holiday cheer from the comfort of his merry mug. So those four are right in the middle here. Hopefully you can see those okay. If not, I'm going to be a very sad panda if they're all blurry, but hopefully you get an idea. Then we have some more warmers to go through. We have the Deck the Halls warmer. This is like a mason jar sort of warmer. It's frosted and it's tis the season. I'll see all these all in a minute. You can also check these out uh, online. I'm sure there's images up as well as at the Sensi website. Deck the Halls, uh, 25 watt warmer. Embrace the beauty and nostalgia of the holiday season with an old fashioned mason jar etched with timeless reminder to be jolly plus a sprig of holly trim it on, turn it on, and watch it glow. We have the Bee Jolly 8.5 inch tall element warmer, which is a traditional with a twist. This little Santa is cute as can be. Pop his top to drop in your favorite fragrance, then replace his signature red hat while it warms. We have the Nativity Night Warmer. Uh, this enduring symbol of faith will bring light and everlasting warmth to your holiday home. Uh, we have the Menorah Nightlight Warmer. This is nine softly lit candles surround menorah, a festival of lights and rededication. Then we have Crystallized Blue. It's a new warmer. If you remember our Crystallized Diffuser shade from our diffusers from last year, that is coming back again this year for our diffusers. So if you missed out on that, grab it this year. But we also have a warmer that's blue frosted. Looks just like the shade, but it's a warmer. It's 25 watts, love holiday decor that looks great beyond Christmas Day. Crystallized blue is a timeless and lovely design with just enough sparkle to keep things interesting all winter long. Turn it on to reveal a flurry of snowflakes ready to fall. So here is all the pages of the warmers, all the pictures, hopefully you can see. We've got the nativity and the menorah ones in the bottom here, as well as the crystallized blue. And then at the top you have your crystallized diffuser shade coming back as well as uh, Santa and the Deck the Halls, which is the season mason jar. Next, we have something new. We have these things called Bitty Buddies coming in, which are like little pom-pom sized. Kind of think of our, our Scentsy Buddy Clips, but instead of like a clip keychain, it's like a little round ball. <laughs> Uh, memory foam is infused with signature Scentsy fav fragrance in these sweet and squishy plush collectibles. Um, so three of them will be available uh, in black raspberry vanilla, and three of them are available in Very Merry Cranberry. Three of them are holiday themed, and the ones that are holiday themed come in mystery packaging, so they'd be fun for like stocking stuffers. But they are super cute, and they are $10 US each. I don't know if I necessarily would get them but if I had like kids or if I was doing like a white elephant or something fun or like a work exchange these could be fun little bursts of fragrance without being like here I'm buying you a warmer and obviously good for kids and then we have some other things we have our 12 days of Scentsy calendar so like think of those Christmas calendars where you open the box and it's different things we have a 12 day one um, that has different fragrance samples from different product lines we mentioned earlier, we have the three pack of bars that we went over in the beginning of this video. Those also come in twin pod packs. We have a wall fan diffuser with a light like the one that is already in our catalog, but this one is a limited edition that the, the lights, the LEDs in the bottom, they have a snowflake pattern that they reflect down underneath instead of just our regular one. So as you'll see there in a minute. And then we have two new fragrance flowers for the season in very snowy spruce if you like your green tree scents and christmas cottage if you like your michael's craft store 
spicy sort of sense. So those are what we see on this page. Hopefully you can kind of see them from there. And again, there's going to be more of this up on the website, so you can check it all out there. Then, for those clean freaks that we have out there, we have Counter Clean and Dish Soap being released in per Perfect Peppermint as a duo. It'll be a cleaning bundle for $20 US. So if you like everything to be minty, perfectly peppermint and fresh for the holidays, there you go. We are going to have a Scentsy Soak in our limited edition scent of Winterberry Apple Tea. So all of those Winterberry Apple Tea lovers, you're gonna be excited because not only will you be able to get a Scentsy Soak for that fragrance, but you will also be able to get it in a sugar, wow, sugar scrub. That was really anti like, <laughs> like, woo, hype went down. But sugar scrub and Scentsy Soak and if you just really can't get enough Perfect Peppermint, you can also get a Sugar Scrub in Perfect Peppermint. So that is what we have coming up over here on this page. All sorts of excitement. So again, pretty holiday and festive. And what wouldn't be a licensed Scentsy sort of release without a very merry Disney Mickey and Minnie Mouse buddy clips, right? So that's pretty awesome. And they, they come with their standard Mickey Mouse and Friends fragrance. So it is not a like signature limited edition holiday scent, which is kind of like, aw, but they are super adorable. So if you know a Mickey and Minnie lover, this would be a great addition to their collection. So uh, hopefully you were able to see some or all of those through the camera. I'm not sure how well it picked up the iPad, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, but like I said, you can find a lot of this stuff being put up onto the Scentsy websites um, very shortly as it will all be launching October 1st. If you are worried about placing an order or worried about something selling out, feel free to reach out to me. I am taking some a few pre-orders for some of these things. Um, if you're interested in placing a pre-order to make sure that you don't miss out on something, let me know, reach out to me directly and we will discuss. Otherwise, you can always reach out to your own consultant if I am not that particular one. And as always, if you have any questions, let me know. If you like this video, hit the like button and consider subscribing. And I'm excited for this holiday collection. There are a few things that I have my eye on that I'm going to hopefully snag. And then uh, let's let me know what you think. What are you planning to get or not get? Or are, are there anything are there any things that are uh, piquing your interest in this collection? I'm curious to know. All right. Hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.